हाई उदीर यस अभिनव आपने फिर से फोर वाल ले ली हाँ यार इवेंचुअली यू हैड टोल्ड मी वेन यू वर राइडिंग द टू वाल रेगुलर एक्सपल्स तब आप कह रहे थे मुझे हिमालयन चाहिए बेच दी आपने अच्छा बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू अबाउट योर एक्सपल्स राइट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू आस्क यू अबाउट दीज पैंट्स these are pretty fancy new pants that you're wearing what uh, are these so this is a mosco okay mosco moto mosco moto it's a brand uh, which doesn't have any distributors they sell it directly and they are supposed to be very expensive though but if you ever get a deal or something from us you can always buy them okay they loaded with features i mean so, just wear them and forget them this is an enduro pant right yeah absolutely okay so what is so special how much did you get it for first so I mean, uh, the cost is over fifty k or something when you go on to the site. Fifty thousand rupees. Yeah. Okay. This was on a fifty percent off. When okay. I was able to get it, and somebody was coming from US, so I didn't have to pay duties. So maybe twenty six thousand or something like this. Okay. And what is special about this pant? Please tell us. So uh, first of all, the fabric itself. It's a it's a super fabric as they call it. Okay. Three layered. It's uh, supposed to breathe. At the same time, it's got very high abrasion. Okay. And uh, obviously, it it doesn't let the water go inside. Okay, so you were uh, mentioning that you know you recently rode to the run of catch on your GS twelve hundred, uh, and when it was very hot, what did you do? So when it was very very hot, you have these big vents here. You simply open them up from here. Okay. And then there's a very large vent out here, which you can open till underneath here. Right. And so when you're sitting. everything goes in so okay. air passes you feel yeah, cool yeah, yeah. and no. then there is another vent which is here as well so you open up all of these my god then, you know everything is like free flowing right there's mesh inside but it doesn't come with armor right you have to wear your yeah, yeah, guard yeah. separately but it's got very high abrasion so if you look at this patch yeah they call as some some something impregnated into it a very hard one right because if you fall your knees are going to be uh, you know if you fall at the front your knees are going to hit the ground first i mean this is super abrasive so i mean you can take a slide easily on this right should not be an issue there is a gusset so you can easily get into your uh, shoes just by raising it right and then you can tighten it if it is raining or something like that right and it also comes with a belt oh Most lovely people. i've never Very seen nice. an enduro nice. pant with a belt like this <laughs> It's a very nice belt. <laughs> you can actually wear this belt with the uh, dress pants. I wear it. Acha. I like it. Nice. Acha. Then you also mentioned that while coming back from the run of catch, it started raining. So, yeah, so are these pants really waterproof, considering they are vented so much? They are absolutely waterproof because it was pouring. Okay. Uh, the day I came back from run of catch, and as soon as I had crossed Jaipur, it started raining. Okay. And then I landed back, which was approximately three hundred two feet. Yeah. To yeah. 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 And all through the rain. So basically, about five hours of rain. Yeah. Five hours of rain, and it was zero. And it doesn't have a liner inside because otherwise air wouldn't pass. Oh, so there's no liner. Yeah. You It's pretty. Wear something underneath, maybe some knee pads or a brace. Right. It can accommodate a brace because it's got that. And then you can hold. No, yeah, because leather. it has that suede. Uh, no, it's a leather. Oh, it's leather. Yeah. Okay. So, usually many pants have suede on the inside. Yeah, yeah. And then this one has got a flex here. Okay. So you can easily move around on a motorcycle. So it's very nice. I mean, though they are very very expensive. Yeah. But uh, there's nothing else like a Moscow. Like That's a true. That's true. We we've seen other Moscow products that you use. For example, the uh, bag that you have on your. motorcycle that we used on the ladakh trip yeah again pretty handy i mean there's nothing like it there's no one who's able to make something of that sort okay so uh, considering you keep changing riding gear and you keep buying new riding gear let's also talk a little bit about the other riding gear that you use for example i see that you're wearing royal enfield uh, tcx boots yeah so how are you finding these boots So if it is a very very hard terrain, then we generally use those MX boots. Yeah. I have those Tech Seven. Uh, Alpine stars, Tech Sevens. So they're pretty nice, but these ones are damn comfortable. Yeah. You can be in them all through the day, right? And if you come around a place where you need to walk, yeah, you can still walk. Yeah. They're very very comfy. 
plus they are very light as well yeah and these are water resistant because i was wearing the same ones right while i was coming from kutch so zero water not bad uh, what about the jacket that you're wearing so i was wearing the same jacket on the Achha. right okay it's the same attire it's a revet jacket yeah would you remember a, the uh, uh, it's called as a vapor vapor jacket. okay so it's also based on same concept okay it's got lot of zippers right both in the front the long ones yeah and then on the rear to vent it out right and then uh, the long one okay. out there so lots of ventilation on this yeah, jacket yeah. and then you can hold on to your armor easily and you can tighten it from the waist right and then there are pockets so i think it's a fairly good one how much did you get this one for this one was around 22k or something Achha. and i bought it because this is like almost 5 years old now oh really this is a good thing with riding gear you no know? if you invest in good quality riding gear they just last for years i think this was the first one which i bought so acha uh, tiger days yeah, yeah on tiger days right so i'm pretty happy with this one as well good 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 I and mean, this cannot last in summers though because you got yeah to yeah but uh, till till the beginning of summers this can last right a lot of people say that you know they would just go in for one jacket that will serve them in all seasons what i feel is you need at least two jackets you need a summer jacket and then you need a round the year jacket which you know would serve in slightly cooler and colder uh, weather yeah see though we keep changing our uh, you know uh, our views on on the same but it's obvious one jacket can't serve you out here in our country because it is yeah. too hot yeah so one of the options is you have two jackets yeah. or the other one is layering right. you buy a mesh one and yeah. then you buy something which is a cover on top of it right. so you got lot of those uh, over shells that you get yeah. in moscow makes one which is an over shell <laughs> so what you can do is you can take off the shell and yeah. underneath you would have uh, your armor okay armor so right. that's one way to settle it right otherwise there will be two jackets True. It true. Always have to be two jackets. Right. Right. Thank you, Yudhvir. Uh, anything else? If uh, so, let's say if somebody cannot afford Moscow, what would you recommend for them to look at? If you know it comes to something that's available in India, because you do a lot of riding, so something somebody who wants to tour, uh, what would you say would be a good price range to look at? A good brand to look at? see a uh, lot of indian companies they started making obviously they have a pr- price advantage but obvious but eventually they are not able to make a product which is as a world standard as the global brands right so the price difference is almost double yeah. so you can get something below 10 uh uh-huh. you know if you want a branded one which is uh, which is a global brand then it would be over 20k hmm. uh, 24 or 26 I would say instead of buying, you know, twice two Indian jackets, right. trying to test them out, buy one which is a brand and over 20k, say around 24 range, right. should serve your purpose. Yeah, because most Alpine stars, good Alpine stars jacket and good Revit jackets, they come about 25, 25, 25, 30, something like that. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, because that that's something that 20,000, 30,000 rupees would serve you for at least five years. Obviously. You know? Yeah. Otherwise, what happens is you keep buying. and you keep rejecting and eventually you spend the same amount of money yeah without being satisfied without being satisfied so why not go so do a little bit of research just don't keep a variable of price right see something which suits you which fits you which serves your purpose and maybe then spend a little more money okay um, right since we are on riding gear we are still talking about riding gear could you tell us a little bit about your helmet so i use a helmet which is uh, an agv I don't know what is it called. I think it's the AX9. AX9. Is this the carbon fiber one or the no, plastic? It's not a carbon. It's a composite one, but right. it's pretty light. So it's got a visor. Then it's also got a uh, pin lock. Pin lock inside. So it serves the purpose very well. You know, you can use it for touring because it's got a beak. Then you can use it on on trails also. But as I mentioned, if you are only going to do a dirt ride or a hard ride, yeah. then uh, you probably need an mx helmet yeah but this one you know while you are traveling all the wind etc because you are not wearing goggles this takes care of it so it's pretty light vented fancy you know you can fit anything what about the you know the wind noise so you ride you you do fast touring so uh, whenever i ride with you and you're on the gs and i'm on the tiger you probably are doing 150 160 on the highway no i would 
generally touch those speeds but my speed spot would be around 120 or something like that's that. not so true we all know it anyway so how how does this helmet fare when you're doing those speeds so is it I, noisy yeah all helmets would have some kind of noise so you can't say that you know this is absolutely a silent helmet but eventually what you do is you try to match your windscreen and right. your helmet and then make a combination so that it becomes as less as possible right that's it so considering you have the enduro model which has the short screen you yeah. fitted a, a an extender windscreen extender on it yeah, yeah, yeah. that helps with wind buffeting so when you put an extender the problem is uh, it it would always you know vibrate a little bit more because you put a lot heavy weight on top of the uh, windscreen so it's better to put in a little bigger screen right i mean not a big big screen which yeah. is purely purely touring so you yes. have screens which are intermediate screens in yeah. between the two and then what you do is you try to adjust it with your with your beak uh, so as the wind buffeting is minimum and in the end you know while you are doing very very long distances it's advisable to to wear uh, the ear plugs right like our own saranch you always put it even on the broken rail so it makes quite a lot of sense okay you know, because wind uh, you know it it uh, uh, tires you down you know that's true time. that's because true noise it, it tires you yeah you wear plugs i mean they're uncomfortable in the beginning you but you get used to it after way, yeah true you used to it you know, right right um okay uh, but i would also ask you about the fancy bag that you use but i think uh-huh. we've pretty much <laughs> covered we don't want to bore people more but uh, okay just quickly we'll just quickly ask um you use a bag which has a special harness mm-hmm. uh, could you just tell us a little bit about it and how it helps keep the weight off so generally you need a bag which can carry some stuff carry yeah. water at the same time you know it's not uh, it's not pulling you down from from your armpits etc right so any harness which is like a chest harness like this with very wide openings on the side which doesn't hinder you know it makes quite a lot of sense right and then you can take out your inner layers you can put it bag into the bag some e tables you right. can carry anything so this bag is not a very small bag which is preferable if you are only doing single tracks but for touring this this works absolutely fine yeah because the other advantage of the harness is that the weight distribution is such ah, yeah. that you know it doesn't tire your shoulders because it's not weighing down on your shoulders so, so it comes on your chest yeah. and you can yeah you, know, you redistribute the weight somehow and it works fine for me true and you you've done uh, you were wearing the same bag when you did uh, shrinagar to delhi in a single day on the himalayan yeah yeah so i was wearing this one did it tire you out no 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 not nothing did I've you been using it for quite long right the other good option is the kriga one right so which saranch is using and i use one uh, while i ride to my office because i can carry a laptop right and uh, it's also based on similar kind of harness okay so it's it's damn easy All right I I think we should wrap this up now I don't know if um, people would have understood but the basic sense that we are getting from this video is if you're buying riding gear invest a little bit extra and buy good in the first go because otherwise you'll just be wanting to upgrade in about 6 months 8 months or so adding to that everybody would go through that then you will eventually spend up yeah yeah <laughs> All right thank you so much Yudhveer for these insights thank you Abhinav Bye bye. Have a nice day guys. Thank you.